Guess who? Denzel, I told you to stop bothering me at the office. Scooter! Scooter! Wait, wait, wait. Chill with the scooter. The name is Terrence. Oh, you a big shot record producer now. That's right. But I'm still a homie. I've got two secretaries who tell me so. <laughs> well, as long as I'm around, your name is Scooter. Mm. So how you doing, girl? As fine as you look. Well, no one can do that well. <laughs> what about you? What you doing in town? Oh, I just flew from Cali to check out some new groups. So clear your calendar. If you ever want something, but you just don't have the time to devote to it. Do I? This magazine has become my whole life. Not much time for anything else. But I guess it's been worth the sacrifice. We made it. Yep. Pretty much got everything we wanted, didn't we? Almost. I don't know. This is all happening so fast. I mean, how come you so sure? Because I've always thought about you this way. Don't tell me you never thought about me like that. No. Well, maybe once or twice. Okay, all day today. <laughs> well, look, baby, you got a plane to catch. You gonna miss me, girl. Don't forget you gave me an open ticket. Use it when you're ready. <laughs> Babe. Regine, can we have some privacy, please? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry, girl, of course. I just finished my dinner upstairs. By the vent. So, Kadisha, who is this guy? Scooter is an old friend. Mm -hmm. Who, before I met you, became more than a friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> and who's this guy? Al Alonzo's a new friend. <laughs> Who you're getting ready to live with. Live with? Live with. <laughs> then why am I trying to move here to be with you? I'm kind of thirsty. Yo, want some soda. <laughs> I did just drop in there unannounced. I don't know why I expected your life to be on hold. <laughs> Maybe because there's something between us that's just not going away. No maybe about it. So now what? How about this? OK. <laughs> no, I really hope I get that job here. Because it's just some things you can't do long distance. Well, it's like this. You're looking at the new director of artist relations oh, for Allergen yes, Records. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, joy. Now, if Max and Kyle get together, everybody's going to have a man with me. <laughs> Max and Kyle are getting together? Hey, good for them. Oh, what are you, though? You haven't been around but a minute. <laughs> well, look, with the facts and all these, the perfume and the women, and Regine buzzing all up in my ear. What was I supposed to think? Khadija, you shouldn't have to think about it. You should know. You are all the woman I need. Aww. For you to say something like that, but me looking like this? <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh. Let's get out of here. I'll race you to the car. Lose a towel dries the winner for a week. <laughs> Khadija, one more thing. Will you wear the bonnet tonight? <laughs> Remember when we were kids? We used to race to see if we could outrun the moon. <laughs> but whenever we look back, there it was. Mm. That's how I feel about us. And wherever I'm at in the world, whenever I see the moon, I think of you. Oh. Scooter, I love the locket. 
but don't you ever bring me a ring box that does not have a ring in it. <laughs> I won't. Bitch, I got you something in Australia. See, so when I saw this, I immediately thought of us. No matter how far a boomerang flies, it always comes back. Uh, look, I would love to stay here and catch up with you, but I kind of made other plans. Hey, Devin. Hello. Well, your game is as good as you look. I'm in trouble. <laughs> And you think an apology and this tired boomerang are gonna make everything better? I am this close to hating you. As a matter of fact, I really don't even wanna... Khadija, will you marry me? Yes! So you proposed out of fear? It, that's an awfully accurate way of putting it. That's well, funny. Because that's exactly why I accept it. Really? Well, I didn't want to lose you again. Look, Scooter, we weren't ready to be married before you left. What makes you think we're ready now? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if we're ready to pick up where we left off. Maybe we should back things up. Could we back things up to the point where we're friends? So are you breaking up with me? I think so. My girl. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't be your friend. Well, I wasn't really dreaming about you as a friend. No, no, I'm saying it's got to be all or nothing. <sighs> Look, Scooter, I would marry you tomorrow. You're the only man I've ever really loved. Okay, but love is not enough. I mean, we gotta work at it. And then Lord knows it's not gonna work with you being on the road eight months out of the year and just letting the relationship drizzle down to nothing. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. What about your ongoing relationship with Flavor? You went to bed with that magazine more than me. Now, how's that gonna change? It already has changed. I mean, my magazine is still important to me, but it does not feed my heart. Well, my heart's a little hungry, too. Now, I could cut down on my road time if you were willing to venture out of Brooklyn once in a while. Hey, I'm in the Poconos tonight. Hey, you know what? Maybe this can work. Damn right it can. Why don't we start working on it right now in this hot tub? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> what you doing? Just making sure we alone. Not too late for my New Year's kiss? <laughs> I thought you went Rio. A little unscheduled stopover. It's cost me 600 bucks, so this kiss better be good. Oh, well, <laughs> I can cover it on my end. Girl, what you doing? I'm going to Rio with you. <laughs> Just like that? No suitcase? Well, if I'm gonna need clothes, maybe I shouldn't go. <laughs> Girl, you're changing on me. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to it, because I ain't never looking back. <sighs> or maybe just a little bit. <laughs> 